वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्रेस माई सिंसियर ग्रेटिट्यूड एंड हार्टफुल थैंक्स टू माई सब्सक्राइबर थैंक्स फॉर सब्सक्राइबिंग द चैनल टूडे वी विल एक्सप्लोर चैप्टर नंबर वन इन इकोनॉमिक्स द स्टोरी ऑफ विलेज पालमपुर एंड आई एम हियर विद ट्वेंटी थ्री क्वेश्चन वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी इंगेजिंग इन एक्साइटिंग वॉच थ्रॉली एंड यू गेट फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गिव यूर आंसर्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट As you can see, the first question is, who is known as the father of economics? Your options are Paul Samuelson, Adam Smith, David Ricardo, or J.M. John Bernard Keynes or J.M. Keynes. Your time starts now. So the correct answer is Adam Smith. Adam Smith is known as the father of economics. He was a Scottish classical economist and wrote a famous book, Wealth of Nations, while Paul Samuelson is called the father of modern economics. Moving to question number two. Question number two is, what is the standard unit of measurement of the land in the country? Your options are meter, acre, hectare, or bigha. The time starts now. Which one is the standard unit of the measuring the land? So the correct answer is hectare. The standard unit of measurement of the land is hectare, which is equal to 2.471 acres or 10,000 square meters. Moving to question number three, and the question number three is, which of the following statement is wrong about the HIV seeds? Keep in mind which is wrong about the HIV seeds. Your options are HIV means high yielding variety seeds these seeds can produce surplus crops these seeds needs more pesticides and irrigation or poor farmers are using hiv seeds extensively the time starts now So the correct answer is poor farmers using these seeds extensively this statement is wrong poor farmers are unable to buy these expensive seeds because these seeds are expensive and costly hiv seeds are developed in the agricultural research institute rest of the uh, rest of the statements about the hiv seeds are correct hiv means high yielding variety seeds these seeds produce more surplus crop production is more in these seeds and these seeds require more fertilizer more pesticides and irrigation facilities moving to question number four as you can see this is question which of the following is a fixed capital in the agricultural production farming production which is the fixed capital identify that Your options are seeds workers pesticides or tractor your time starts now So the correct answer is tractor fixed capital includes fixed factor of the productions which are used for many years for like tools machines buildings furniture so tractor is a machine so this is why it's a fixed capital while seeds are seeds workers fertilizer these all are working capital because they include variable factors of the production so here answer is tractor and seeds worker pesticides are the working capital now moving to the question number five question number five is the crops which are grown in winter and harvested in summer like wheat is an example of ravi crops kharif crops zayat crops or commercial crops your time starts now which one is grown in the winter so correct answer is Ravi crops. Ravi crops are grown in the winter and harvested in the summer like wheat, gram, mustard seeds. These all are the Ravi crops. On the other hand, Kharif crops are shown in the rainy season and are harvested in the monsoon. They are also called monsoon crops. Question number 6 is, why do most of the farmers in the village Palampur prefer taking loans from the large farmers or from the money lenders? What is the reason? Option number one, they charge high rate of interest. Option number B, they charge low rate of interest. Option number C, they give loan without collateral and documentation. And next one is they exploit farmers. And your time starts now. So 
so here the correct answer is they take loan from the landlords and the money lenders reason is this because they give loan without the collateral and documentation while when we take loan from the banks from the commercial banks or from or from the formal sector they require collateral for their security as well as documentation processes very complex this is why they depend upon the large farmers and the money lenders now moving to question number seven seven is which of the following statement is not correct about the land land is a factor of production and you need to find out which one is not correct about the land so land is a free gift of the nature option number one option number two land is a natural resource option number c land is variable factors of production and option number D is use of modern farming method can improve, can increase the production from the same land. To identify which one is not correct about the agriculture, uh, about the land. Not correct. Okay, so the correct answer is land is a variable factor of production. This statement is not correct about the land. Rest of the statements are correct. So land is a fixed factor of production because it cannot be increased and other statements are also correct. Land is a free gift of nature. This is correct. Land is a natural resource. This is also correct. And use of farming, uh, modern farming method can increase the production from the same land. This statement is also correct. Now moving to question number 8. Here question number 8 is uh, which kind of labor force is required in the dairy farming? Your options are high skilled labor or unskilled labor or semi-skilled labor or any of the above and your time starts now so the correct answer is unskilled laborers reason is this because for dairy farming large number of unskilled and cheap labor force is required doesn't require any kind of training untrained people can easily manage the dairy farms moving to question number nine question number nine is which of the following is not a factor of production you know there are factors of production this is the beginning of the chapter factors of production find out which one is not the factor of production option number one land option number two electricity option number three is physical capital and option number four is labor and your time starts now So the correct answer is electricity. There are four basic factors of production. Keep this in mind. Learn them. That these are land, labor, physical capital, and enterprise or entrepreneur. So, land, labor, physical capital, and enterprise are the four factors of production. While electricity is not a major factor of production. Moving to question number ten. Question number ten is, in general term, capital means in economics. What is the meaning of the capital in general? Options are buildings, machinery, tools, or the money. And your time starts now. So the correct answer is money. In general, capital means money in economics. In broader sense, it means variety of the inputs which are required during the production process. So in general the term capital means money moving to question number 11 question number 11 is who is known as the father of the green revolution in india in india who is known as the father of the green revolution options are richel carson norman barlog m s swaminathan or hilalal Chaudhary. and your time starts now so the correct answer is M.S. Swaminathan. M.S. Swaminathan is called the father of green revolution in India. Norman Borlaug is called the father of green revolution throughout the world, who got the Nobel Prize in 1917, 1970. And Hira Lal Chaudhary is known as the father of the blue revolution, which is related with the fisheries. Moving to question number 12. And the question number 12 is a project manager and software company is an example of find out a project manager in a software company is an unskilled worker is a skilled labor is an entrepreneur is a semi skilled worker find out the time starts now a project manager in a software company 
it is an example of which kind of required time is up and your answer is here skill labor a project manager in a software company is a skilled worker you know it's an example of a skilled worker skilled or trained workers are paid more in comparison of the unskilled workers to require training to be skilled now moving to question number 13 and question number 13 is which of the following factor of production bear the risk initiate and organize other factors of production like march verb okay so your options are labor capital entrepreneur or the land and your time starts now to take the risk in the production process so the correct answer is entrepreneur entrepreneur begins and coordinates the production process like the bill gates who begin this Microsoft now moving to question number 14 question number 14 is which of the following is not correctly matched find out which one is not correctly matched. mixed cropping means growing crops and rearing the animals on a same land and multiple cropping means growing more than one crops on same land and intercropping means growing different crops on a field at the same time and strip cropping means leaving strips between the crops which one is not correctly match and your time starts now which you know. okay, time up your time up is uh, answer is strip cropping leaving strips between the crop this statement is wrong while other three statements are correct here so strip cropping means growing crops in alternative strips for example first wheat you have grown in the first strip wheat and then the fodder in the second strip and again you grown the wheat so means strip cropping means uh, growing wheat fodder wheat fodder like that okay so this statement was wrong moving to the next one so uh, question number 15 which of the following state or the states first adopted the modern farming methods in India it's from book your options are Punjab Haryana Uttar Pradesh or all of these and your time starts now which states adopted the modern farming methods okay so the correct answer is all of these farmers of Punjab Haryana and Uttar Pradesh were the first to try out the modern farming methods in India during the Green Revolution in 1960s side now moving to question number 16 which of the following is not a non-farming activity and your options are dairy farming, transportation, poultry farming or the multiple cropping and your time starts now. So the correct answer is multiple cropping, dairy farming, poultry farming, pig farming, transportation, trading, shopkeeping, insurance, these all are all, all are the non-farming activities and these uh, all activities are done in the village Palampur. so here the correct answer is multiple cropping because it is related with the farming activities there are two types of activities in the village Palampur: farming and non-farming activity and these are the examples of the farming activities <coughs> moving to question number 17 which of the following is not correctly matched and your options are a small farmer owns the owns the land less than two hectares medium farmer owns 2 to 10 hectares of the land and lionless farmers owns less than 1 hectare of the land and large farmer owns more than 10 hectares of the land which one is not correctly matched and your time starts now so here correct answer is landless farmers owns less than one hectare of the land this was a wrong match reason is this landless farmers do not own the land they work on the other farmers land those who are landlords they work on their land so landless farmers do not own the land while others are correct a small farmer own less than two hectare medium farmer own two to ten hectares and these large farmers own more than ten hectares of the land in is which of the following statement is wrong about village Palampur? your options are 75 percent of the people live in the vil uh, village are engaged in the farming activities number b 450 families live in the Palampur. option number c dairy farmers of the Palampur sell their milk in Raiganj. and option number d is shopkeepers buy the things from the adipur 
and your time starts now. So the correct answer is shopkeepers buy the things from the Adipur. Shopkeepers, this statement is wrong. The correct statement is shopkeepers buy the thing from the Shahapur. Moving to question number 18 and question number 18 is which of the following statement is wrong about the village Palampur? I hope you have read the lesson uh, here. One number one, 75 percent of the people in the village are engaged in the farming activity or 350 families live in the village Palampur. Option number C, dairy farmers of the village Palampur sell their milk in Raiganj. On option number D, shopkeepers buy their things from the Adipur and your time starts now. Which is wrong about the village Palampur? This one is related with the Palampur. So the correct answer is shopkeepers buy the things from the Adipur. This statement is wrong because shopkeepers buy the things from the Shahapur, not from the Adipur. So all these three were the correct and this statement shopkeepers buy things from the Shahapur. This statement is correct, not from the Adipur. Moving to question number 19 and question number 19 is which of the following revolution is related to the milk production? Here silver revolution green revolution blue revolution or the operation flood and your time starts now so your correct answer is operation flood operation flood or white revolution is related to the milk production initiated by Varghese Korean so he is known as the founding father Varghese Korean and blue revolution is linked with the fish farming production and silver revolution is related with the eggs production and green revolution is related with the agricultural production moving to the last question this is question number 20 you have, we have reached the end of the lesson so co consumption of the chemical fertilizer is highest in which of the following states of india your options are haryana rajasthan uttar pradesh or punjab and your time starts now So the correct answer is Punjab. The consumption, of, the consumption of the chemical fertilizers in Punjab is highest in the country. The continuous use of the chemical fertilizers has led to the land degradation in the Punjab and soil is degraded there. So thank you very much. Uh, see you in the next video. Subscribe the channel. Be safe. Stay healthy.